Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Monghua campaign. This is episode 13. We pick things up from turn 88 in the winter season of 207. So, last episode we took care of our major threats. Lu Bu has been defeated by Monghua, and we now know who the greatest warrior is. Liu Bei stacks are coming, but we're stopping them here at Kui Pass by using some ambush tactic with Mu Lu's army. Now, Lu Bu is gone, so Meng Huo's army is now free to actually sail down and respond to these threats. It's a little hard to actually contest with them in the water. It's quite dangerous to actually try to fight naval auto-resolve battles. So we're probably going to come through Ba Dong and take the land route and then just hop over this little bit of river over here. I alternatively could also march through land, uh, which doesn't look that friendly, but... Maybe we can do it. We're on the hunt for Zhuge Liang, of course, our arch nemesis. Now this army could use one more general. Hmm. We actually could set someone up in the south as well. Right now, let's see, our brothers are defending here. Mulu is defending here. Okay, this is just a random group. Alright, Sini is over here. He's also not that important. Random group. Ahuinan. He has one of our elephants. Hmm. We should probably take. Oh, this is Cave Lord. That's fine. We should probably take that elephant and gift it over. Maybe to one of our brothers. Our younger brother... Yeah, he's not gonna be much of a duelist. I want to remove it from Ahuinan, but it's not gonna let me. Alright, let's gamble here. We could lose this for good, but this is our only way to remove this. It should be here. Oh, let's pray. And we should see it on cooldown. Yes, we... Okay, we'll get it next turn. We'll give it to our younger brother. He deserves it. Our secondary concern is Ma Chao's or Ma Tong's faction. Still the dad. That's still alive. We have a current trade deal, so I don't want to destroy that and rip that apart. But as you can see, everyone's angry at us. So it's probably going to be war in the future. And we're preparing for that by building up an army here. We have Shamuo Ke's group with Zhou Tai. They're tagging along with each other. Uh, it'd be quite hilarious. In the Romance of the Three Kingdom, Zhou Tai eventually kills Shamuo Ke, so they will just have to get used to each other. This is a single burned officer that's coming with them. He can be bait, actually. I think I want to flush out both of their armies a little bit. I think the Han generals will not be picking up more army and we'll just mainly give it to our Nanman generals. So is there anything in particularly good about them? Not really, you're just the wife. And you are commander for night battle. So you have high cunning and uh, we don't have range in this army yet. So fire archers would be the way to go here. And here we need some sturdy front line against Ma Chao's cavalry. And the best we have is either Javelin Spear Guards or Shield of the South. And of the two, I like the cheaper version and the versatility of the extra Javelins. And also higher charge and higher damage. I don't know why you would ever go for Shield of the South. Oh, Encourage Allies? This also has Encourage Allies. It, it just feels like a complete win. A little bit less armor, a little bit less evasion, but... Honestly... A little bit less morale. Not big deal. Alright, so we have a full stack here. They will complement that army. Duo Si is defending here. And he will remain here pretty much for the rest of the game. Unless we start tearing up into the northwest, then he will march out as well. But right now, he's our defensive hold here. Uh, we also have some key generals holding against potential attack from Lady Wu. And speaking of potential attack, we're no longer feeding them food, which is a big no-no. We want to keep feeding them food. 
so that they would not attack us. Oh, they also need a ton of food. As you can see, the huge jumps. We'll go until it stops jumping by 0.5, which is right here, 11 food. And we'll see if they have any unused items. So silver tier, we're just going to pass. If they have a gold tier one, then we'll take it. Okay, if they don't have anything, then we're just going to ask for regular payments up to 5 points of diplomatic value. That way we get a little bit of bonus to our attitude. I don't want them to turn on us yet. It's very hard to get rid of faction influence. That's pretty much what we get for uniting the tribes. We'll take everything here soon. I'm sure Shirsia would have enough of us and uh, would declare war. He has to pay us for 5 more turns from the peace deal. If he's honorable at all, prefer peace and treatise over war. Only declare war if otherwise the empire is secured. When conducting diplomacy, strongly consider the world's reaction to. So he won't break any, uh, you know, deals because it's gonna cause untrustworthiness. I believe. So we'll have at least five turns of peace. We only have a couple spying armies. By spying army, I mean just scouting to see him. No one really significant here. Oh, Tuan. I guess Tuan can take care of it. It'll be a very small battle over here. We just want to take these three, and that's about it. We can give them one more general. Most of these are actually not on our in our faction. Most of these are from the recruitment pool. Which I think we have really no interest in picking up any of them. If Wu Tugu, I don't think he's going to show up because he has a grudge against us, so he's not going to show up in our pool. And since we're the only Naman faction, he's probably going to disappear. Because if you're stuck without a faction for about 20 or I think 50 turns is the new change, you just disappear from the game forever. And in our case, that's what's going to happen with Wu Tugu. So a little sad there. But that's what we get for faction grudges, is just a dice roll. And we couldn't keep him happy. In hindsight, I might have been able to adopt him. That might have been the backup choice there. But that would have been a very awkward situation as well that I would like to avoid. We have a vanguard here. I wonder if the burn officer would mind having another Han general with him. As he is quite lonely. Uh, he doesn't like Zhang Ba. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we can just stash that. I am probably going to set up a couple more ambushes just to pick off some easy wins here. We have 100% in this dense forest. And they're pretty tempted by Kuei Pass to come attack us. We're going to come to our brother. We're going to vacate this so our brother could actually land here. And we're going to take this land route over. Blocking us. Get out first. There we go. And this is our burned officer corp. Husband wife combo that is causing the third guy to feel bad about it. It's okay. He's third wheeling. I don't know if we can get back. Yeah, physically blocks them. This is awkward. Because now this is undefended. But they don't have siege weapons, so if they want to land and siege, feel free. We'll be ready to crush them with our army here. Okay, guess he's never getting an army. And that's about it. I think we're pretty happy with our deployment. Uh, we are saving up a bit of money because who knows when we need them. Yunnan could level up more. Yunnan could be a decent income. Just decent, not like super good. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go tall. Population income is a thing, so we'll go tall. And our roster... Let's see, everyone's out. Uh, assignment, 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 four assignments, so a total of six. There is one, two, three, four characters that's not being used. Okay, 
just so I have keep track. Let's continue. Mercenary contract is now a thing. Wonderful. Been waiting for that. That's a great way for us to gain relationship. One of the kids, I don't know whose is this, picked up a wonderful trait. Cheerful. I don't think it's one of ours because it doesn't have Meng in front of it. We haven't had a child yet. Uh, we're 36. It's about time. They should hurry up here. Uh, our older brother's pumping out kids left and right. Our younger brother is still waiting for us to capture him. Sunren, which might not happen, to be honest. Uh, it's fine. I don't need a big family. We have a bunch of child from the other leaders who will come of age like this. Liu Bei is in the water with Guan Yu and Zhang Fei and their initial militia army. So that's not going to be a hard army to fight. The three brothers... Wait, what? You met our wife? I probably spawned the item randomly. Uh, let's see. We do want to go back and defend. We're going to let them out. I'm not going to worry too much about them. Meng Huo will also ignore them. We only care about Zhuge Liang. Who is Liu Bei? We never met him in our life. Alright, we might need to buff this army up a little bit. Because there are quite a few armies coming down. Hmm. I would like more animals, but we don't have that. I don't know what we need. There's not that many shield units. Oh, oh wow. Never mind. There's a bunch in this army. Maybe we'll pick up some axe users. Either the Nanjong Champions or Might of the Valley. I guess Nanjong Champion would be better. It's good against range. He has bad cunning, so we're probably not going to go range here. We're just going to rely on the Vipers. We need some anti cavalry. Maybe poison spearmen? We can brace. I don't think that's actually going to do anything. Like, the, the special effect is not really for that. Yeah, even though we don't have much ammo with the bonuses, we're going to go with that. The ambush is still in place. Can we recruit maybe the Han General? Nope, doesn't want to come here. My I don't want him to get injured or anything. He's a great commander. Oh, right, right, right. The elephant. Let's not forget. Perfect. Our younger brother got it. I think we'll just wait. We'll wait till we pick up someone. I'm sure we'll capture some nice generals. We also can pick a new reform. Oh, we need to do a mission to get these. Unlocked by completing mercenary contract. Do we actually have to do a mercenary contract? I mean, that's fine. Let's improve relationship with all factions. Six turns. Ooh, character salary minus 10%. That's good. Not that we need money, so that's also something we got to consider. It's great, but we don't actually need it. Campaign movement range, that one's nice. We need to do these. Expanding infrastructure, got to check what we got to do for that. Campaign movement range into extra campaign movement range. Okay, this is good quality of life. What do we have to do for this one? Ah, we need a tool. Ah, we need that tool maker. Well, they're not backstabbing us right now, so we'll just be in the staring contest right there. Over here is where things are going to get steamy. Okay, Ba needs help. Um, population's not growing, so we got to pump that up. Because once we get over a million, we get an extra building slot. That will speed things up. Wuling. I don't think we're upgrading anytime soon. Same logic here. It's upgraded before population hit. And mercenary contract, which is what we're going to work on. Liu Bei likes us because we've been treating his troops nicely. Oh, we can get so much value, but we're not doing that. We are hunting for Zhuge Liang, so we're definitely not doing that. Are they in any wars? Uh, we're already in a war with um, 
Dong Zhuo. This is Liu Chong's old faction? Or Liu? No, I don't know. Actually, the new flag changes. Uh, we can't actually check. Uh, we haven't met that faction, so I can't really check either. Uh, let's not look at anyone else's. Let's look at our own. Is it actually on Quick Deal by any chance? No, it's not. It was not on Quick Deal. Basically, whoever we pick to serve will not attack us for a while. He's at war with Domin. Does Domin even still want to fight with us? We beat back Lu Bu's army. Yeah, there we go. Any items for us? Negative. Any money? Okay, that's a decent amount, actually. Liu Bei likes this. We're making friends with Liu Bei by fighting him. You can't kill any of his generals, so we're just like ransoming his troops and recruiting his generals, and he's happy that we haven't killed anyone. Yuan Shu, are you fighting anyone? Zhang Chao, Huang Zu, so far away from us. I mean, basically, we could get into a contract with Dong Min to fight Ma Teng. That's probably the easiest one we can do. But then we'll have to backstab Ma Teng, basically. Right, we get paid for this. Uh, Lady Wu, are you guys fighting nobody? Wang Bao. I need to know where they are before we decide to take this. We can't help them. They're too far away. We can probably help them destroy Huang Zhu, who's probably here. But I'm not sure, so I can't just go in blind. Does he still want to fight us? Yes, he does. Honestly, the best deal is to fight for Dongmin. Because he's also friends with Liu Bei, which is super awkward. Um... We pick up some untrustworthiness, start this fight. Can we offensively beat them here? Oh, they upgraded a ton. It's level 3 now. We would ideally siege it. Let them come out and fight us. Does he have night battle? He has burnt. Wow, we would like him. What the? No, that's wrong. Just displayed wrong. See, it changed again. Like whatever unit we hover. No, it's just weird. They have they have a rivalry buff too. Hmm. We could easily pick up a lot of points by fighting them and also grab Hanjong. That's actually super attractive. We just have to backstab a little. And we can peace out with Liu Bei, but then there's no nothing to do with these armies here. Maybe we just wait for mercenary contracts for a little bit longer? We need a turn for replenishment anyways. Yeah, let's decide next turn. I, I can't really make the call right now, so let's continue. Duchy of Yet has declared war on us. Gong Sun Zat. Okay, he's so far away. Alright. Don't really care. Rituals of the Ancestors. We can either get public order or morale. We're gonna go with morale bonus. Public order is fine, even at our high tax rate, thanks to our buildings. Dobe's armies are gone. They landed. I mean, we can't just land. Oh, Liu Bei's here. Hmm. I think we can reach him if we start out here next turn. Get into water, come out here for the siege. That would work. The next turn we can fight them. We'll continue to set up the ambush here. 
I'm not sure about this. Hmm. Jian Yong leveled up. You can unlock some extra assignments and eventually become an administrator. Sure, why not? More authority for you. If we... Alright, we're gonna do it. We have the mercenary contract, why not, right? Twelve point five. This is a twenty term payment. I can probably get like <laughs> not that much, but I can probably get plenty. Okay, not not a lot. Is is he? I guess he's already paying us a bunch. Yeah, that's why his economy is taking a hit. I mean, we'll do it just for the fun of it. Ma Teng hates this. Dong Min likes this. Han Sui hates it. Lady Wu hates it. No, 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 no. That that can't be happening. Cause she's at war with Dongmin. Right, that makes sense. Mm, there's no like ideal war that we can just hop in. No one's fighting Liu Bei, except for us. Come on, that can't be true. That is true. Yeah, we got nothing. <sighs> yep. Mercenary contract and no way to use them. I want to upgrade population first. Alright, Quake Pass is getting really strong. I don't think we're building tall here. I'm also going to ambush their army, just to make this look weak. I'm not sure if he has night battle or not. This is the middle skill? No, this is the far right skill. Okay, so he doesn't have it. He, there's no way he has it. Admin resolve, she could... Oh, I thought they had two burn officers, that would be ridiculous. This is Han Sui's daughter. Did she marry Ma, uh, Ma Chao? That might be a case. Alright, I guess we just wait for Meng Huo's sneak attack on Nanjun. Let's get everyone hidden. Let's continue. Ah, Yuan Shu might be the first one to break some treaties. Okay, go ahead. Sima Yi has also appeared. Liu Bei has popped into the river because he can't find Meng Huo anymore. They left her on this side. I think we just go crush her army, that reduce one stack. Leave them in the water, they can either sail past or try to attack either side. We can ambush this army too. The trick is to not let the AI see where you are. I'm gonna pop in. Pop out in the right county for the burn buff. And also pop in. Alright, she ran away. Now we're kind of exposed here. Hmm, this could be tricky. Our zone of control should block any attempts to get to him, but he could sail this way and get to him, but then he can retreat. Disembarking takes a lot of movement, so we should be okay. And plus, we have some attractive targets over here that they might just go for. Let's hope they go for it. Hmm, hope was done. Diamond Guan can also be upgraded. Yuan Shu might be. I don't, how how is he gonna attack us? They changed the terrain, so this is all mountain. He has to come through Basi. 
Toolmaker. We need that. Uh, it's annoying how we don't have it. Sun Quan's army marked back. Trissi is not rebuilding his force. I mean, still two turns on the treaty. And we just got nothing going on. Why is Nobe not fighting anyone else? Anyhow, let's continue after the level up. One of our cave lord, it must be. Yep. Max expertise. Let's continue. Alright, Liu Bei didn't fall into the ambush. He actually just bumped into it and the ambush failed and he actually has reinforcement armies on the gate. So both armies bypassed our ambush. Wow, now we have to fight this really hard fight where Mulu is going to be in a lot of trouble. We don't even get the siege reinforcement which is really weird. We also can't retreat for some reason. Huh. I mean, because our backside's blocked, I understand that, but maybe we should have ambushed behind the pass. Alright, now it's a battle for survival. Let's go. Alrighty, so we do have a few interesting advantages. We do have guerrilla deployment. We do have the ambush, uh, the reinforcement army coming from behind. This should be the weaker army. Liu Bei, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei definitely is a stronger army. So for our best interest, we just wipe this out first and then use the distance between us and Liu Bei to buy some time for the next round. And how we're doing this. We're gonna probably play some containment with our... I don't actually know where they're gonna show up. Like how wide the entry is. Because this is not very accurate usually. I'm probably going to unleash the tigers here. I don't think saving them is worth anything. And we'll just march these guys forward. No dueling. It does provide a nice passive charge resistance buff. Mulu is just going to hammer whoever shows up. And that's going to be our plan. We'll get these guys covered. There we go, so we can grab them uh, a little quicker. Okay, they're heavily on this side. Shift up. Unleash the puppies. Uh, they're so heavily on that side. Go for the units. He can go for the generals. Gotta move through them. Come on. Send one over. Roar. Stop. I realize the Obey's army are coming right here right now. So that roar really helped. And they're just gonna run away real quick here because they're right next to the edge of the map. Yeah, when the flag is here, you don't expect them to be spread out this way, but we've got nothing here. Kill the archers. They got units moving that way. How did the cavalry get behind us? Yeah, we're still pretty far away from them. I think I now realize why the tiger units are unbreakable. Because if they were not unbreakable, what would happen is you would just wipe out these slingers after the tiger goes out and the tiger unit would be routing. 
and the tigers, you don't want that to happen. So as long as you have one slinger, the tigers can still keep fighting. I'm gonna chase that down. Yang Feng, not Yang Feng, but Yang Feng. Huang Fu Yue. Not sure if that's related to Huang Fu Song or not. Alright, we're gonna pull back. We're gonna let Zhang Lu take care of that. We gotta reorganize our four into five. Maybe a huge front line. Okay. Enemy cavalry is on this side. We're gonna utilize the force to our advantage. Zoom out a little. Okay, I assume they don't have fire archers because it's Liu Bei, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, and none of them should have fire archers as a skill tree. Elephants will come from the side. Tigers already have no control over what's happening. I don't even know what the tigers are. Not gonna worry about that. Mobile is still relatively healthy, we just gotta roar a lot. Everyone get hidden. So we can kind of force the enemy. Oh, Tiger's still here. Good. I wonder if they'll go charge out to seek out enemies. They might. Okay, look at our kitties go. Maybe they're chasing this fleeing unit, which will lead them to other units. But they're probably going to get murdered by the archers. The archers are no jokes. We can stay with our Tigers and see what happens going as part of the hunt. The archers... Maybe we can get hidden once we get into the forest. Oh, we can't go anymore. That's the extent of our camera. Alright, we charged in. Our tigers are going to be killed, but at least they're doing damage. You can see how many tigers you have left. They're, they're dying. We're not going to do much, it's just disruptive. It's not actually going to murder too many things. Yep, yeah, they're all going to die. I took out a few. They will get up, see the flag bounce back up? It's just a very disruptive unit. Oh, it died. Yobe is killing a bunch of tigers by himself. Our units are coming. They can somehow see our elephants. That's not good. That's that's the worst part of this. Hmm. I wonder if we should just charge into that, because the archers are just murdering us right now. Charge out. And we never turn these on. That's not good. Let's see if we can charge through that. Or maybe we should switch directions, find some softer target. The cavalry is really hard to charge through. Alright, we can get them over there to kill some of these range. We should play micro move. Alright, move. Roar. Down phase here. We gotta get rid of these cavalry. You are not fighting. Why? <laughs> That's suicidal. Five. Come charge out. Go for some easy targets. Mm, not looking good. Gang Wu has been defeated. Mu Lu is angry. Good. He's out of control right now, though, but he gets a little bit of damage boost. All in friend. Yeah. We need that roar back if we want to do something. Alright, we still have some elephants. Can we rear charge? Stomp, stomp. Roar. 
we I don't know how we're gonna kill the three brothers, so it's definitely a losing cause, but we're trying to do as much damage as we can. Oh come on, they still have E marksmen? Why well, you just come here to kill Mulu's elephant? Yeah, morale's collapsing everywhere. Come on, route. Ah, oh, Guan Yu, go away. Let us stomp some units. There we go. Oh, they bounce back in the forest because of morale. Alright, E marksmen need to go. They're routed. Let's ignore them. No, go! Stay away from us! Stay away from us! Stay away from. No! We're down. I mean, what did we expect, right? Let's just try to kill as many as we can. Most of these are militias. And the generals. It's okay. Having a taste of my own medicine. Maybe we can get Zhang Fei to route. Oh no, how is he unbreakable? What did they give him? Oh, the, the ability. I was like, Zhang Fei being unbreakable is really scary. Fight to the end. Use your swords or clubs. All right, it's a wooden club. Hmm. I mean, we're unbreakable. Hmm, they got us good. These three. Alrighty, let's see the outcome. Do we get captured and executed, or are we spared? Do we lose any items? Do they get one of our elephants? Seems like we're still on the map, which might be the best outcome. All right, let's find out. Vassalized, okay. Zhang Lu got executed by Liu Bei. What a cruel man. Okay, Shamuk gets a kid. We're getting sieged over here. They break the dam. This is the fun castles event. I mean, building damage is pretty much just the past damage. It's fine. Bilbe is not very kind. Captures our general and executes him. That's pretty cruel. I mean, the good news is Mulu is fine. He's just injured. Maybe a bad trait? I think he had a bad trait already, so absolutely no loss. I think he was scarred already. I don't think this is new. Yeah, it's not new. Alright, they're going hard for the... Kuei Pass. We have an army here. That is uh, ready to respond. Let's attack the sieging army. That way we can grab the pass army to help. See, they both retreated once. Are they out of the pass range? They're, they're not. Wait, we can't move that far? You gotta be kidding me. That disembark costed way too much movement. Alright, we're taking Xiaoyang for them so they can't heal up here. We'll come in as reinforcement to pick up some experience. Even though we're not needed. Uh, useless army. They don't think we can win. Very funny. It is a toolmaker, so it will help us finish our mission for the breakthrough. Uh, we'll do night battle for the morale loss. We don't need those three generals. Uh, they have a huge group, but we have we have elephants. Let's go. Alrighty, here um, we are loaded up in this toolmaker here. I actually think they might charge out at us because of how favored they are in this battle. And we don't have any siege weapons or anything. 
We can just probably wait a little bit in the back. Hmm, let's see. We probably want the fire archers in the open. We don't want them to shoot at our own troop. Actually, let's put them on the back burners a little bit. These crazy guys can hide. They can wait till we need them. Tigers can also hide. No need for them to see these guys. Don't scare them off. And the elephants, the ones that play music, can just hang out. And the ones that will throw rocks can probably come from like a different angle. Let's call these one. Let's call these two. Menghuo can be in the front. They can be chilling here in the back. Oh, we're missing one. There we go. Go, let's all play a different song. Come out, please. Not coming out. Okay. Dueling? Hmm, no. Alright. We're gonna send them in to capture the gates for us. And also throw a couple daggers at the strategist. Might be a unit there. Maybe not. They just abandoned defending the gates and all piled up over here? Why? Oh, they put some <laughs> wooden stakes here. Okay. I'm gonna hurt our general, but that's about it. Did they put one here? They didn't put one here. Might be a oil patch there. Not lit up yet. Still not ours. There we go. Alright, we just want to come find an opening to throw a dagger unimpeded onto a strategist. While they're buried deep inside their army. We might not hit them. We probably need to be like on a higher ground. They were moving, they're moving. Not moving? Alright, we just hit them. Maybe we can hit them. They're, they're going about the same. We got it. She dead. Oh, that lie, that lie. Don't, don't lose your horse. Look at her health burn. Goodbye. Maybe not death, but like 200 health. Yeah, that's the route. That's actually just perfect. Wait, I thought this did 10k damage. Yeah, it does 10k damage. How does she live? She has more than 10k health? She has only 9.1 here. Regardless, we have a couple more throws. The cooldown is really short. Let's see if we can hit him. If he's not moving, I like our chances. There we go. It's going to take two shots to kill him. So the second shot's also for him. There's no need to waste it on another strategist. Okay. Are they going to try to charge me? So many Z spirit. There's no oil patch here. Where did they put their oil patch? Yeah, they're charging us. Back off a little. Cool down eight seconds. Good night. I'm not even looking at that light right now. He's probably getting hit. He dead. Oh, that that's fine. They didn't go for him. Alright, we're gonna try to capture that gate. He's dead. Might enrage them. Nope. No, no relationship whatsoever. He's gone. Oh, they did put the woe here. Would they like to fight us here? We're just gonna burn away. I don't want our troops to get burned later. I don't want to charge into the cavalry, but I want to kill the archers. Crossbowmen. Mm, never mind. Too many enemy forces. 
We're just gonna loop around. I think it's time for us to show up. The king is coming. Enemy cavalry on our tail. If it's only one, we can fight them, but I suspect we're gonna get charged by everyone. We're gonna loop behind, try to kill off some archers. There's only two of them. Fire should be done by the time we get here, yeah. Alright, they stop chasing. This looks like a pretty good charge path. See a couple archers we can kill. Do they really want a piece of us? Because I'll give it to them. Alright, you don't want any of this. Turn white, please. Meng Huo is here. Alright, well, he's gonna bounce back for sure, so we can't really chase too long. We wanna come over here. The king has arrived, so we're gonna park right here. We're gonna roar after we charge in. Here goes nothing. Oh, look at the scare factor. Here we come, out of our way. Stomp. Uh, it's only frontal. Roar. There we go. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. <laughs> if we got everyone, it would have been over. It's like Zhang Fei's roar. I don't think we need our other units. Um, we're causing some problems with our uh, golden elephant. Uh, we don't want them to run to the gates because then they'll bounce back and uh, take the gate. Where did we go? Okay. One on each. Yeah, our job is to make sure the one that goes out don't come back. Or at least don't try to recapture this. Right, they can fight the range units for a little bit longer. We could bring our troops over, but so far, it's just going to complicate things. Oh, she can roar too. So that. We'll roar. Pull down short. <laughs> Just bop a few from their horses. Don't come back. There we go. Over here. Where's that cavalry unit? Yeah, they bounced back. Trying to charge us? We keep wanting to target that one. Oh, we got him. See if we can time the stomp right. Uh, they just no, they just all died. Actually, why don't you guys just fight here? We got a couple moves we can use, and uh, we'll charge over there to save wife. Goodbye. Goodbye. Or goodbye. Oh, 
We're here. We're going lost a lot of health. Yeah, but I think it's pretty over here. Uh, look who's back. The melee cavalry. Maybe we should stay here and capture the flag. It does drop their morale. We get a roar. There we go. Another 15 hit to morale. Stomp, stomp. Just give me a good stomp. Is it over yet? Oh my god. I bet the strategist part is re recovered. See, they, they see us and they don't want to fight. But then like... The second we're not there, they turn around and be like, let's fight. Okay, that's it. Massive route. Finally. Not hard, but just a little annoying. Alrighty. Ooh, we cut all three. We're gonna release and employ everyone. Pretty good assignment characters. Strategist and and we got ourselves the breakthrough which we needed for more buildings, increased relationship. We're level 10. King of Man, still the same. I'm curious if we get two points here. I don't need any more authority. I don't can't get any more health. We picked up arrogant as our last trait. Oh, we already saw that a long time ago. I think we just get some melee evasion. Yeah, I think we just pick up... Yeah, we get two points. Nice. Uh, pick up some melee evasion here. Goes from 6 point to 15 points. That's quite nice. We're gonna pop out. Let them chill here. It's level 3. They're stuck here with us, which is great. They also can't replenish here. Our brother and the past will be strong enough to hold off against them. We now see Tai Mao. So if we can get a contract against them, potentially that's pretty easy pickup. That's their capital, the livestock farm, so that we can just wipe them out. Mulu will be resummoned in the south. He's going to be tasked with wiping out Shixie later, so we can just redeploy him here. Zhang Lu is pretty uh, sad that he's just a lost cause. Ma Chao's army's gone. Interesting. We don't need that toolmaker anymore. We got our alternative one. Exit. I wonder if the character is available right away for assignments, or we gotta wait a turn. We gotta wait a turn. Okay, typical strategist, modest, that's quite nice. Uh, repeating crossbowmen is also quite nice. We're probably just gonna put her on assignment though. Preacher. Competitive is a little iffy. Three cavalry units, that's not bad. I think we're also just going to put him on assignment for now. Or maybe in the army, who knows. Uh, but neither are burnt, right? Yeah, neither are burnt, so we're not going to use them for that. I think we're good. Everyone else we can just keep where they are. We have landed into the central plains. Alright, let's continue here. Alright, Liu Bei is trying to escape to Nan. Tao Ying declare war on Yuan Shu. We can actually declare war on Yuan Shu as well. For the mercenary contract. But he has two pieces here. He has more elsewhere because neither of these are his capital. 
really depends on what we want with our war against Liu Bei. We can actually water delegate them. I'm pretty sure we can beat them. Yeah, balance the power. Maybe this is a really cheesy way for us to clear this threat. Can we reach them? No! Okay, at least they can't really beat us in the water either. They can't retreat though. We just go towards them. They're trying to go toward Nanjun. I can't really stop them. I can take Xiangyang. It'd be an easy delegate. I assume there's no army there. We can easily check. Yeah, I'm not interested in chasing Liu Bei around. If our navy could have caught them, it would have been wonderful. But in this case, they didn't. So we'll just take Xiangyang. Pretty nice prize. Ah, uh, Yuan Shu is here. Yellow turbans have Han Gu Guan. Yuan Shu is also here. Okay, he's everywhere. I don't need this. This doesn't do us any good. I could keep these. This is just useless. I mean, their version's better, so I guess we keep it. This is not that useful. There's not much food production here. We'll get rid of that. It is a city, so we can keep that build. Our brother can pull back afterward. We'll let him be punished. It's fine. Let's see what else we can do. I'm not keen on betraying Maton right now. I'm gonna summon Mulu down south. I'm gonna give him the cavalry group. Apparently Mulu likes Han officers. He did go the, um, the mercenary unit route. Let's not forget that. No one new down here. I guess we'll just get raining. I don't want the militia units though. Does he have good authority? Nope. Uh, good cunning. That's what I was at wondering. That's a negative. So no range units. I think we go with the insane followers of the flame. She also is not that great a range, but here we're just cleaning up, so I don't think it matters too much what we get. We'll just pick up a bunch of Nanjong champions. That's our unique unit after all. So we have a southern army now to take care of Shixie eventually. It's going to be a problem in the future. Cave Lord level up. First time. Oh, brilliant officer as well. That's why I've been giving him a lot of cunning, but... Since he is a cave lord, we'll go this route as well. Peasantry income in Badung. We don't have the peasantry piece of Badung yet, but eventually that would be a nice pickup. Or we can give him something like expertise, which we don't have. We don't even have resolve. So this would have to be it. There is a heart. Oh, industry. We do have the um, iron mine, so. That's fine. Here's Badu. Uh, we're upgrading the commandery, so that's good. We got our fifth slot, which is going to be conscription. We're just building each of the circle once. And we can go regional city. It'll cost us eight more food. We'll get another building slot which would be a duplicate building, so a, a square building. So I think for square buildings, we can only go to level 2. And off the choices, this one's not bad because it actually gives some income. Uh, labor guild? Probably not. Probably governing hall for prestige and research rate and income from all sources. This is not a bad level 2 building to build. Oh, we can build level 3 as well. Wait, wait, no, no it's not displaying. I think 3 is locked behind a reform, so we can go to 2. Uh, which is fine. Uh, marketplace. 
This is Zonkul, right? Oh, so commerce. So this is the way we gotta go. We gotta dap. Let's see. This is fine. This is upgraded. We'll keep it at this tier. Okay, we're good. Yeah, pretty much everyone has moved. Are you guys in any more wars? Nope. Oh, Tai Mao's Lady Wolves? I can't touch him. But Yuan Shu got into a war with a bunch of factions. And we can help any of them wipe them out. Alright. So we're good. Let's end turn here. Let's see what Liu Bei does. I think he's just going to run back. Nope, he's going to ask for peace by paying us 20,000. Wow. What's the number? 38.4. Jesus. Can we vassalize him? We can vassalize Liu Bei. Oh, this is the reverse Namai Rebellion. This is what Menghu imagined, I guess. Yeah, we do this. Why not? We'll get a portion of their income, so there's no need to ask for more income. Might as well take the armor. We can ask for cash. Wow, this is ridiculous. But I like it. This is very different from what I imagined. Um, 15. Let's just do that. Everyone likes us except for Dong Min, but who cares about Dong Min? And we vassalize Liu Bei. We have to make some peace for him, no problem. We have vassalized Liu Bei. He left his alliance, he liberated his vassals, and we signed a few peace deal. This one should be Yellow Turban, but it's fine. Oh no, Liu also at war with us. So yeah, that was right. So Liu, this is a separate one, because the vassal was at war with us too. And immediately, Lady Wu takes over Liu Yao. Poor Liu Yao, just getting bounced around. Okay, a bunch of big developments. Uh, Liu Bei is now our vassal. Is Zhuge Liao on the map? Did he even summon him? No, he didn't summon him. Let's see. He has land. He has all of Shandong Peninsula and edge here. Wow. Uh, he's not there either. So Liu Bei has a piece here. Liu Bei has a piece here. Liu Bei has pieces here. And he has a little piece here. But we got ourselves a very interesting vassal. And uh, we're going to end our episode here. Let's see if we take a look at ownership. This light green is ours. If we take a look at diplomacy, we have expanded out quite far. And actually, if we take a look at our victory condition, the countdown has started because Liu Bei adds land holdings to us and in 20 turns or 19 more turns we'll be officially a Nanman kingdom even if we don't reach the greatest ruler. Uh, but overall, pretty cool. Uh, we'll continue to play this out a little bit. Cao Cao is still on the map. I don't know how strong he is. Oh, he has all of Chen. Okay, so he's not that weak. Our next target is probably Yuan Shu. And then we can close out on Ma Teng. Liu Bei can be sort of a buffer for us now as we have expanded out. I don't think we can trade territories with him, but we did pick up the entirety of Xiangyang. So uh, it's not like we're missing any pieces. If anything, we're missing a piece from Lady Wu. And uh, we can work out a way to get that later. But right now, this is our situation. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode and see you guys next time. Bye!